Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Bear With Me. Let's continue where we last left off, shall we? Honestly, I don't know what we're supposed to do, but I'm going to check around this place again. Rusty's just snoring her way. We should get back to Millie. But we already saw Millie. An undeveloped. Unless we're missing something. Does her dead body have something? It's a small nail. It must have fallen from the window. Oh. I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. I think so. Let's go back to that key. Pretty sure we're going to need that key. Do what with it? I don't think so. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. Come on. Come on. We'll have to find another way. We'll have to find another way. Seriously? There's a small key up there. It looks lonely. I guess you could say. Oh no, this again. It's just hanging around. <laughs> I still like that though. It's pretty cool how they referenced that. The CSI. Ugh. I could have sworn you can use the... Can I combine something with this? Like, I could seriously combine stuff. Like, for real? For real? Come on. I don't think so. For real? Girl. You serious? I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I take a little break. Alright, I'm back. Since I can't combine stuff, what am I supposed to do? I'm at a loss here, ladies and gentlemen. locked. Can I use the stick? I don't think so. How about the sword? Do what with it? How about the nail? That actually worked? You just unlocked something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Don't be such a negative Nancy, Snoop. Of course it worked. My genius knows no bounds. How the... How the hell did that work? An old clock. My... Yeah, I'm surprised that's Ted. How the hell did that work? It hangs on these chain thingies. I have no idea what that's for. Some clock stuff, I bet. Those are hooks. Yay, I got the hook thingy. I bet this will be super useful. Like, really soon. I'm pretty sure it will be. Let's go back to the key.
that key. I bet you we need that key. All right, let's combine some stuff. This won't hold on its own. There, now I can have higher aspirations. Yay. Achievement a lock. All right, let's see if this works. I'll take this key with me, just in case. It's always good to have keys around. Office desk keys. Hmm. It's mostly filled with... It's a decorative or an award. I don't... We should get back to Million. An office desk key. Where, where does that go? It goes to an office desk, but where? Like, where? Look out for anything out of place, doll. Well, we found the nail, so we should be okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the attic. Did she just use the force? Millie, Rust, and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Wise guys. Reasoning with them is a fruitless effort. However, the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous. I mean, more than usual. We found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint. But so far, everything is leading nowhere. I've examined the evidence myself but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement, but then the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing, but the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot, fade to black, we had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. Unfortunately, we were too late. It's sad what happened to Millie, and Amber really lost it for a moment. I did all I could, and gave her a promise that I'd catch the man responsible. It's not much, but it's the least I can do. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Gaber City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. Best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. I hope not either. The convertible of desks. Very chic. It's locked. I have the key for that. Hey, the key fits. Let's see what we have in here. A vial of ink. Vial of ink. 
It's a vial of ink. Boy, this desk must be really old. Who uses ink anymore? Hey, ink can be useful. I'll take the ink with me. If we wake up in 1789 tomorrow, I'll be all set. 1789? Uh, okay. Yeah. More like 1600s. A bucket. That's a funny word. Bucket. Bucket. It's filled with towels, I think. Or sheets or something. It's filled with the kind of stuff no one ever uses, but is too important for some reason to be thrown away. Are you hungry, horsey? Ted, do we have a wooden carrot for him? Just some random attic stuff you'd usually find in an attic. There we have an old bean can. Is it empty? Full? Who knows? The mystery is part of the fun. Then there's some bag of something. Flour, maybe? A bunch of boxes filled with ugly clothes? Salt. S-O-T-P. It's a candle. Forgotten here. Until the lights go out. Then it's like, oh, where are those candles we keep in the house? Can we bring it with us? I'll take it with me, just in case. Maybe I'll need to read in the dark at some point or something. Yeah. Good point. Alright, we already checked everything. The only thing we haven't talked to is Brian and Ted. Let me talk to Ted first. There's a policeman. We should go and ask him a couple of questions. I mean, he is a cop, so he's probably even more clueless than us. It's worth a shot, though. Yeah. Poor thing, I bet he feels so alone up here. Brian. I know a guy named Brian. Good evening, officer. Oh, my God, Miss Ashworth. Is that really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, we need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case and we need to find a friend of ours. He might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity such as yourself. I'm so, so sorry. Well... So, so sorry. That's okay. So sorry. Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? A police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? Um, no. It is! It just fell on the floor. Well... This is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. My fiancé even makes fun of me sometimes. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. It makes you look younger. Well, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. But you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, poor Brian, with his fake mustache. Ted, you are just too much. I don't blame Amber for saying, oh my god. You haven't seen Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a paper city police officer. Never mind that now. Stevie. You know anything about the Red Man? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What kind of questions? What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey! Uh, don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you, too. Aw, that's so cute. 
Thank you, Brian. Oh no, now, now I'm blushing. I just have to interrupt, whatever this is. Jerry, what kind of information is Red after? It's Brian, sir, and I'm afraid I don't really know much about the subject. Only what I hear from the fellow police officers here and there. Besides, I'm not in a position... To discuss such matters, yeah. Yeah, I know. Can't you make an exception? Can't you make an exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, seriously, I'm a huge fan, but orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and. It's Brian, sir. And how come the city is on lockdown anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. So, what is it we need to do in order to enter the city? Well, I suppose you would have to get clearance, signed by Mayor Mills himself. And he'll just sign this clearance, no questions asked. Normally, no. I don't think so. But since you're in the company of the beautiful and talented Miss Amber, I'm sure the mayor will make an exception. I'll have to get the mayor on the phone to sort this thing out. You think he'll let us enter the city? I really don't know, but that drunk owes me a couple of favors. It's time to call him up on it. To the Batcave. To the Batcave? Mayor's office. Hello there, doll. This is Teddy Bear. You may know me from such cases as saving the mayor's ass on several occasions. I've also set you up with a buddy of mine that one time. Of course, Mr. Bear, I know who you are. Are you looking to speak with the mayor, Mr. Bear? Because I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? No, I have to talk to the mayor personally. It's important. When will the mayor be back? The mayor should be in first thing in the morning, Mr. Bear. Okay, never mind. Thanks anyway, doll. He's not in, and we don't have time to sit around and wait till he sobers up. We'll have to find another way. Hey, what if we made the clearance ourselves? That's falsifying government papers, doll. I like it. There should be some stationery around here. Give me a minute. Have a drink while you wait. A drink of what? Make-believe water? Never mind. Here it is. I can barely read it. There. Now we just need something to use as a stamp and we need to falsify the signature. You're an artist of sorts. You can do this, right? Not really. I could probably make a stamp out of something, but I can't falsify the signature. Fine, I'll get those two goons to do it. The mugshots? You think they'll help you? Don't worry, my right knuckle can be very persuasive. Okay then. So I guess we go to the, um, uh, the, the brothers then. I guess they are so used to police interrogations. Standing in front of bright lights is where they feel most at home. The Mugshot Brothers. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You two remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember having a crush on Beverly Christie in high school. I would follow her home from school every day. Then she saw me one day and called the cops. Now I'm a registered stalker, amongst other things. Any leads on the- That's class. Nothing used- I remember- Then she saw- Monk stuff. I need your help, lowlifes. I've got this fake clearance to enter the city, and I need you to falsify the mayor's signature. And what makes you think we're the right guys for this? Do we look like counterfeiters to you? <laughs> yeah, you sure do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. But again, what's in it for us? Can't you do it for the kids? Can't you do it out of comic courtesy? 
You better do it if you want to play the clarinet again. Can't you do it for the kids? Think of the children, for God's sake. What kids? You know, just some kids. I don't know. It's an expression. Would you do it for Amber? I would do it for Miss. But something tells me you're just dropping names to get us to agree. She's with me, and she needs your help. Oh yeah? She sure lost a lot of weight or you finally lost your mind, cause I can't see ya. She's in the other room. She couldn't squeeze through. I'll cut you a deal, Snope. You bring me proof that little miss is with you, and I'll falsify this report card of yours. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, the clearance. I'll be back. Sure thing, Arnold. Huh. You got it? No, they don't have anything to write with. You have your pencils with you? Here you go, but be sure to get them back. I'll be right back. No. No. Oh. Back so soon? You have proof that someone still wants to work with you? I'm working on it. Sure, sure. Don't pull a muscle. Wise guy. You're saying that like it's a bad thing. What? Oh, ink. No. No. What? No. Seriously, what the hell? No. I should go and ask those two lowlifes to sign this fake clearance. Look at it's not working. Do I have to get these guys the tools? Yeah, I do. I'm dumb. There. Does this qualify as proof to you? Now, show some integrity for once in your life and do this thing. Whoa there! Are these the creator's tools? Where did a snoop like you get these? The Muffin Man gave them to me. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Amber gave them to me, obviously. They have her initials and everything. All right there, Snoop. Don't get all riled up. Show me that land deal you want falsified. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, sure, the clearance. There. Now, if you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. So, how about you hit the old dusty trail? There. All sorted out. You didn't hurt them, did you? I sure did. Lowlifes like that only understand one kind of language. Oh no, Ted. Why are you always so mean to them? What? No, it's expected with those two. Never mind that now. I got it sorted. Let's head back to that cop boyfriend of yours. <laughs> Russ is still asleep. She just used the force. Hey, Brian. I don't think so. No? Let's talk to him then. Good evening, Miss Ashworth, Mr. Ted. Got that clearance yet? Is he making fun of us? I can't tell. Not yet. We're working on it, Brian. I can't use that. I can't use that. I don't think so. Are you even trying? What? That, that what? We should get the clearance to that cop of yours. I 
don't think so. What? I'm pretty sure that's what I have to give him, right? Do what? I can't use... Are you even... Do what with... Is this a bug? Are you even trying? Yes, I am. That's gotta be a bug. Hold on. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I'm back. Uh... I feel like I'm missing something. It says Gaga on it, or is it Goo Goo? What's going on with that radio? Yes, yes. It's just... Can't use that. Mm hmm. We're definitely missing something then. I got the signature, but I don't think it's stamped. Where the hell do I get the stamp? What? Yes. Let me check in the study room. It looks like a match in a small metal container. Is it? Did I get it right? Hard shell on the outside, sweet on the inside. Metaphors never end with you guys, huh? No. There is no ink here. If you don't mind. No. Just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, no ink. Alright, let's check the dark room. If, if there's no stamp thing that we can use in here then then I don't know that we're SOL guess this room do what with it we should get the clearance to that cop of yours Seems like it's you can pour. This doesn't make any sense, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Used. <sighs> All right, let's try. 
the bathroom. We haven't gone to the bathroom yet. And that's the only place we haven't checked for, uh, stamp. think so. Really? A cardboard box? A miracle? There are no stamps around here. It's where I ran. This is my bed. It's so sad. No point in drag. It's the most Seriously? Come on, where the hell is this stamp at? A random gen like a golden retriever. Oh my god! Yeah. You're just like I'm really lost, guys. Come on. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh my goodness. Are you even trying? Good evening, Miss Ashworth. Miss Is he making fun of us? Not yet. This doesn't make any sense. Uh. Just God dang it. You save. Like I'm stuck, guys. Like literally, where, where? How do I stamp this paper so I can get out of here? It belonged to my grandpa. I don't think it works, but it sure is loud. Wait, it's locked. But why? Huh. Let me go back up. Wait, can I... Come on. No. There, now I got a stamp. All I need now is some ink. Oh. Messy. Hopefully I won't get it all over my pockets. All done. Wow, forging documents is a lot of work. <laughs> Level up. Legit clearance. Here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim. Uh, Mayor Mills himself. Yes, here it is, and it's like totally real and not at all fake. Well, everything seems to check out. Wait a minute. And enjoy the scenery, Miss Amber, Mr. Ted. It's a beautiful view of the city from here. Have a nice night. You too, Brian. Good night, Byron. Byron? Really? Paper City South. All right, I guess we're going back there. You ready, Ted? Give me a minute. I thought I left that place for good, you know. What about you? You haven't been there in some time, doll. Yeah, I think so. Besides, we have a case to solve. You're right. Let's go.
kind of feels like going home. God damn it, it really does. Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? He grew up. Oh. This looks cool. That was the end of episode one. Wow. That's pretty cool. We still have episode two to do, but we'll do that on the next episode of Bear With Me. On episode two, that is. All right. Will we find Flint's... I mean, will we find Amber's brother Flint in the city? I hope so. And I wonder who Teddy Bear's partner was that grew up. I wonder... And I noticed that there's some other cheapest on this game. So, um, I'm gonna try to, uh, do those achievements, but off screen, though. I mean, off recording. So, I'll do that, and then I'll jump right into, uh, episode two. These are some really good voice actors. Facebook beta testing group, huh? Alright, that has been episode one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on episode two of Bear With Me. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.